Okay, one next, more back for the next part. We we'll have been recording those back to back, so we should be going out pretty soon, one after the other. I don't have, if I don't have a lot of edits to do. And let's end this turn right there. Okay, don't, okay, don't panic. It's just archers. I don't trust, <laughs> I don't trust a lot of the units in this game. They always seem to route when you least want them to. Good. No! Oh, he, oh, oh, Chugo <sighs> got hit. He was weakened. <laughs> he has he been got weak. so close to death. Yeah. He just had to run out in front and wave his sword. Yeah, well, what's wrong with him? <laughs> He's too brave. <laughs> Let's see how Callum is doing here. I've never out. It's so awesome. <laughs> we keep coming at you until you kill everyone. Most of them. Then, the, yeah. The enduring spirit of Cerberus never dies, even in the uh, year <laughs> of the life. You always serve, Sean. <laughs> no, no, no. The god. He will awaken soon. No! 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 no. <laughs> oh wait, we got a second commander. What the fuck was that though? <laughs> Why do the Czechs always run in front? Maybe it's because I tell them to fire at the end, but I thought how, oh. how, how much is the range on the pistol? Uh, 30! But... Oh yeah, that's, that's closer than... Yeah, tell them to stay behind. Those troops. guys are 30 as well, yeah, okay. Um, you stop running out in front and dying all the time. So we are once new order now, so everyone stops dying. Okay. You are not commissar, <laughs> even <laughs> though you you look like commissar and you pro and by description you are commissar. You are not commissar. <laughs> you are commander <laughs> and necromancer for some reason. Um. This army got damaged. This army got damaged. I think we can win a rifle battle if we. Oh, okay. As long as. Wait, would we even have to worry from dark fights? No, there's no dark okay. fights here. I always get worried whenever I see a wood. Nah. Woodsman. It will be okay. I keep like. After after losing some armies to to blood to blood druids or something like that, blood hench druids. Hmm. Those guys. I don't think they can dig that province. Um. Can they go around it? No. Oh, have the. They can join up with the other group, then they can go across the river. Yeah, good point. Mm, he'll prepare another expansion army on the... How many are there? 18. I guess the next turn will be good. That guy will be bringing in units. And that too. And we can have a big army going out. Probably this time we'll get a guards commander. Yeah, guards commander to feed the troops. <coughs> There you go. You can get lots of riflemen now. Then once we start uh, researching, we'll get the bureau engineer that will get us even more resources so we can withstand our yeah. own against any enemy. Probably build a fort yeah. here next turn. Yeah. On Angbert. 14k population, 112. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll want to protect that. Yeah. So we're still recruiting scouts. Oh, I do oh, want another wait, commander. Wait, wait. What, what? Late age man, we found them. Oh yeah, they're right there. He's hiring tower guards. How oh. could he? You're not supposed to know how to use OP units. Yeah, 
I don't know how. Okay, let's, let's just be cautious. Let's just expand and just let the AI attack us first. That strategy usually works out. Well, if we expand so well, they don't ever attack us, as we found out with. What's. Yeah. Uh, it won't be like, not worth it. <laughs> that was funny. It's like. We, I never knew the AI actually would just never attack you if you expanded super fast. I thought the AI always attacked you at a certain time, but I guess I was not playing the uh, right nations, or I didn't get the right expansion speed. I'm gonna get those guys out to take over this throne. Oh, okay. Look at that. Like yeah. it, it's, I kind of wish they had more to them, though. Uh, I know those little, you know, Amazons and everything. You always wish they had a bit more of those. At least you had um, uh, Seromatia, right? Yeah, yeah. Seromatia, pretty cool. It's you use lots of cavalry, though. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Come on, just route, guys. Okay, great. <laughs> Good job. The enemy Good is fleeing. Our men will never rout. <laughs> yeah. Let's build a castle citadel. Do you think a citadel is overkill? What's the difference? Um, defense. 150 defense, 100 supply, 5 administration. Well, the 5 administration is kind of nice. Admittedly. What, what time is it right now? Like what? We are middle of winter, so I guess we're on turn 9 or 10. Oh, we, we expand a bit slow. We should probably go to the castle. Yeah. Never be too safe. <laughs> we're playing with misfortune too. We gotta be extra safe. <laughs> Good. Good. Have you found a use for the machine gunner shot? Um, I haven't. I used them once, but it's just the resource cost is way too high to just mass. Yeah, it was similar with me. It was, um, I wanted to use them, but it was. They, they kind of suffer the same problem that heavy cavalry suffers in the vanilla game. They're really good, but you just can never get enough of them. <laughs> Cavalry. Cavalry. <laughs> it's just, it's just taking, you know, losing cavalry just is it too big of a loss to be worth making cavalry most of the time. What's the problem? Um, the the nation that actually uses cavalry is pretty much Arco, and Arco also uses chariots. I, I learned now that chariots are actually pretty good. Someone's showing me how to use them. They're really good until someone uses evocation and then you cry. <laughs> Chariots are actually good. Um, they're not super great, but if you use them properly, they can get the job done fairly well. I see. The big thing for EA Arco is actually their chariot. So someone taught me that. <laughs> because they have the two forms. Oh, they lose the rider? Yeah, they lose the rider, so you just tell them to hold and attack rearmost, I think it was. Oh, and then just fire? No, then then they're garbage shots. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but apparently, yeah, similar idea with them, it's just that, you know, they cost like 50 gold, so every time you lose one and they only have like 12 HP, it, it gets, it hurts. I guess at the end they're kind of like half an elephant. They're kind of like half an elephant, half a cavalry, and you kind of pay for both. Hmm. Mm. Okay, starting from next turn, after building some infrastructure, we'll Wait. start investing in research. Wait, we have no AI recruitment, right? Yes. It's all lies. There's recruiting zots. <laughs> <laughs> zots are useful to raid, I guess. 
recruiting Zods that they want to hurt us. <laughs> it's the only reason why you recruit Zods, you hate the other person. They would actually be pretty effective against us, though, to be honest. Zods. Mm -hmm. Like, if they just tell them to attack, <laughs> attack we're most. Just like, like 60 Zods and they just appear right on our troops. That would actually be really bad. And Zods doesn't do too well against really heavily armored people. We're not heavily armored, so are we? No, no, no. We're not heavily armored, but um, the thing is, they'll probably fail the moral check against the skeletons, right? Sometimes it matters how it matters how well they equipped the. Well, the AI does not use um, construction, so they won't be able to do all these stuff like um, Horn of Valor. We have met Horn, Horn of Valor on them or anything like that. We have met Book of Russ, our arch nemesis. Da, da, da. We're gonna kill him. We met the SARS. <laughs> yeah, the SARS back. <laughs> <laughs> How did he get back, Sean? I thought we beat him already. I don't know, we need to kill him again. <laughs> Kirk, we're creating a time paradox, right? We all need to fight because otherwise there's a time paradox happening. Yes. Da, 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 da. It's kind of nice they got grenades. Grenades are so good. I know. It's like I know. Like, I had to read them twice the first time I saw them. I actually saw them first when he released um, Ulmreich. Ulmreich. Um, and I had to double read, like, wait a minute, AoE? I know, it's like a one shot uh, firebrand strike. Yeah. It's like, it's like AoE firebrand javelin. What is this? It sounds fun. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna make another expansion party going out right now. It, actually. They already made the um, they already made the the Knights of East. Watch the next unit just have like um, when he throws his javelin, it's a firebrand, <laughs> and it's just like a bunch of giants, so they can <sighs> throw them across the field, like the mo next OP unit. <laughs> Probably that's not a bad idea. I mean, one shot javelin. Goddamn Knights of East. Um, hmm. It's it's kind of sad that they're not that good. I mean, they already made a super OP. <laughs> they made the Griffin Riders. Okay, got those. All right, so we're gonna rename this commander Alex, proposed by Callum. Yeah. He has old age. He's fifty-one. Yeah, go. Current age is fifty-one. So there we go. Oh, voila. <clears throat> Evil. He's. Mm, where's the... It's kind of weird how many how yeah, how these guys are just like summoning skeletons all the time. <clears throat> this is what Lenin demands. <laughs> hmm. He wants you to raise skeleton shot. Wait, wait. I forgot what I was doing here. All right, I think I was. Sneak. Yeah. Let me just produce. Which ones work better underwater? I, I've never actually used Ichthids for you know major fight. I'm just gonna overpower them with numbers. Okay. Yeah. Because. That's that's one thing I've never done. I've used Ichthids for for um, high defense units to defeat high defense units as specialists, but I've never actually used them to win a battle on their own. Most of them. <laughs> no need to. Okay, so I think we're good for this turn. We're going to. Move back, create an expansion army on the neck. No, actually, we're gonna move out of Alex on this turn. What was I saying? Um, hmm. 
probably need to ex to expand our northwest a bit to reach out to those two thrones or northeast yeah. actually so I'll move them there and go after the wolf tribe archers I'm surprised if a uh, man already has the throne on that mountain I think he does there's black candles on it oh. all right let's end our turn recruitment is done let's go. <laughs> All right, Lenin, God of Lenin. Severus, the Great Butter, the Divine Shepherd, Lord of the Wind, and of the Ho. <laughs> <laughs> so that is so fitting. Uh, all right, guys. So before everyone's like, "Haha, we could have said seen Lenin there." I know you can see it there too. But uh, uh, anyways, yeah, I mentioned Lenin, but you know, <clears throat> now you get to see him in all his glory. Yes, he there. <laughs> he was just sleeping all this time. He has awoken and he will lead the great nation of Cerberus to victory. So I built him as a um, classic rainbow mage because, you know, he's not really a god, but he has a lot of knowledge. He's just gonna go around and find as many magical resources as he can. And then we'll try to showcase a few of the uh, national units that the mud brings to us in construction. <clears throat> Some in enchantment. Uh, I guess a couple, one in alteration, and the last one is in blood. Yeah, blood. Assault devil. Yep, assault devil. Oh, and also, um, General Runtime told me that he he has um he he made custom items as well. So do get some constructions since it's, since it's on the way, anyways. And we'll just build a few of the custom items he made to show everyone what he does. So let's just uh, move Lenin towards Mudwoods. And both our battles have been successful. Kind of filmed in the wrong order, but let's just see how it went. I'll probably need to refuel some units here. <laughs> well, they're fine. We forgot grenades are OP, shell. Yes, they're good. They destroyed the cavalry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see how OP she's doing. You can't hear anything, right, shell? I I can, can't you? Oh, it's gunshots. I guess you could, oh, don't worry. You could worry. check it's out the. It's not actual gunshot, Sean. What do you mean in the game? <laughs> don't think about it too hard. <laughs> like, are you talking about in the game? Oh, okay, good, good. You don't. <laughs> good, good, good. You know, whatever's happening where you are, it's in the game right now. <laughs> okay, both battles went amazingly well, and apparently Bovians are planning a large-scale attack here. Let them come to us. The <laughs> barbarians always plan attacks. Sean. They're wrong spots too. I guess oh. it could have been worse. It could have been the uh, the knights, the knights event. Oh yeah, the knights. Esquire has been interrogated. The knights are planning an attack. New. No. <laughs> so you just have to sit an actual army over there because barbarians PD can handle them if they get lucky. Um, a good, a decent amount of PD, like fifteen to twenty-five. But um, against knights, you actually have to have an actual army because it's yeah. heavy cavalry. Yeah, it's not even just heavy cavalry. Your knights heavy cavalry. Yeah. Why do they get a spawn in? Like, how come man doesn't... That would, that would make man great if they had free spawn. <laughs> you know, it'd be, it'd be cool for man to just randomly get events like, Hey, Knights of the Grail have come landing you ahead. <laughs> great. Knights of the Grail or... You know, even, even like... Even knights that are just like free spawn units would be nice. You know, they don't they don't appear as as often, but you just have some knights appear in some territory every once in a while with your dominion. No, nice. that that's true. That's true. The higher dominion knights spawn. Yeah. But um, I think only muds have been able to accomplish that so far. 
Yeah. Oh well. Man will be good in Dominions 5. Just see, Sean. <laughs> Is it ever gonna come out? <laughs> so, Lenin will stay backwards. Okay, so we're expanding there, expanding there. Okay, but that all means almost ready to go underground. Underwater. We can't send a bunker down there. No, almost ready, not yet ready. Is it even worth recruiting the bunker anymore though? I mean, since I don't I don't find it worth at all. Like the only reason why it used to be worth it is because it it's it basically conscript spammed. <laughs> Which doesn't win a lot of fights, but it wins like all the random events pretty much. Mm-hmm. But now I don't know. <laughs> no, I did. I don't think they can defend against a random event. They don't. Sp they only spawn them once. It doesn't keep spawning the con the conscripts, so it's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. But you know, if at least they spawn the rifleman, it made a bit more sense. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Like give it like a two d six. Rifleman's yeah, because yeah. to make sense, if they are conscripted in the army and they're living inside the bunker, you give them a gun, right? <laughs> you don't give them a spear to stab through the holes. Yeah, because there's a heavy machine gun inside the bunker, so why wouldn't you give other dudes guns? <laughs> the guy that spawned from it, right? It's kind of like, hey, let's leave leave this bunker, but use this heavy machine gun and just charge them with a spear. Kind of makes no sense. Yeah. But it, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. The rest of the nation is great. <laughs> yeah, everything else is great. I'm gonna start using magic very soon. <laughs> We're just gonna spam units. Yeah, Lenin just needs to finish site searching here. Oh boy, I'm hitting unrest problems. Let's put 20 province defense, put those units on here, and just patrol. Probably patrol. I'm building a castle here. I think I want to build a castle here as well. Mm. This whole army probably needs to meet up with this one and join up into a bigger one. No, no, wait, the, the knight's coming to attack here, right? So I'll just make them construct this building for now. Give those units yeah. a way to Chugo, send Kalem well, back, yeah, back to the capital to get more long, long dead. Uh, wait, wait. We got a hero. Let's check our heroes. We should check what they got. <laughs> oh, so Mark B has heroic precision. Oh wow, that's you actually. Mean, we should give. We're gonna give Mark a gun as soon as we can forge <laughs> give it. A, give a super good gun. Yeah, yeah. I think we can even. Or can we order him to fire anything? Oops, sorry. I just moved the pop filter by error. Oh, he can fire at rear most enemies. That's cool. Oh, he'll be able to fire at rearmost enemies. Okay, well, that's a great idea. Okay, let's not let him do it now. We need to keep. Yes, yes, alive. yes, yes, yes. Okay. So. Oh, what about a Chugo? Chugo has a heroic battle prowess. Unfortunately. Oh, he's never gonna use it. That's not he's gonna, gonna be useful. Use yeah. <laughs> Unless we try to turn him into a werewolf. Or it. Can we turn someone into a troll? No, you can't. No. Uh. Oh, Chugo. He's got like heroic battle prowess, but he's only got six strength. Yeah, that's sad. It's gonna, so sad. It's like, I can hit you all the time, but I can't hurt you. <laughs> uh, okay, so Lenny needs to side search. Sibrago will get um, those units back here. That uh, name guy, I don't know why I'm spelling the name. People, I can't respell really those names. Oh, look at all this. Freeze it. Look at all this chaff. Yep, chaff tastic. Okay, start recruiting all the chaff. Except the crossbowmen are very handy. Most two provinces are okay at getting more units. I guess so, because they are disciplined, unlike our. No, scripts. they're not. Well, I mean, discipline in the sense that you can give them who to shoot as an order, definitely. That's true. 
they got eight more. I forgot they had such low morale. They're they're like the um the Vanaris archers. Okay, so we met Alma as well. Hmm. Starting to meet a lot of people. We need to hurry. Wait, back. wait, wait! We're surrounded by all the non. <laughs> We're surrounded by all the anachronistic nations. <laughs> Yep, yep. Let's get spend a bit to uh, hey it hasn't been taken, neither has this one, so we have Oh does does it have nightmares on it? Oh wait, well, those guys are scouts, that's perfect. Oh and wait, there's Scout Heretics. Oh my god. Oh that's so good. <laughs> yep, yep. We can use it to attempt to dumb kill. Well, I won't, I won't, I'll recruit them from this province instead and move them outwards so they won't kill my dominion spread too much since this one has two candles. Okay, so here one more check is. Um, oh, we're gonna end up looking like Lady's Pythia. There's heretics everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> No, Except it'll be good. <laughs> oh yeah, these are just heretics that we sent to the front to die. Okay, they can oh, we're running out of gold. Too many troops. <laughs> it's okay. That's why we're expanding outwards and upwards. Okay, move Alex over there. Move uh, Ilya over here. Put some province defense. Okay. How many provinces are we at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 provinces? That's not too bad. Could have done a better job if we didn't fail the first expansion battle, but it's not enough to you know, put us out of competition against the AI because I believe that the lighter difficulty shouldn't kill us that badly, like how it did. In the way it did, it was horrible. Anyways, we'll be done recruiting this underwater army. Uh, okay, we probably need to stop recruiting yeah, over the, there. The sad thing, the sad thing, just just from a meta perspective, because I know the AI is that it is kind of sad that we don't have a super durable unit in this army, so we could beat up man right now. Yeah. The AI does not know how to deal with super durable units. That's true. Yeah. Uh, units that tend to have recuperation or can just live through several battles can definitely win you a game. Alright, actually Sam, I think we should take a break right there. This episode is getting to be a bit long. Okay. Thanks for watching everyone, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this series, that really helps us out. Um, we're going to be putting the next episode very soon, we'll be trying to film them back to back and just do some light edits and I'll get those done. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you soon.